Welcome back everyone. This is our weekly Neovim plugin video and this week we're going to be covering LSP Saga. Um, LSP Saga is a Neovim plugin that improves the Neovim built-in LSP experience. So for those who know what an LSP is, you know that an LSP can do a lot of things. It can go to definition, it can show implementations, it can replace symbols, it can show outlines, you can find symbols. Well, all of that is built into Neovim, but it's not very clear or apparent um, when you do those actions. So and LSP Saga kind of adds a UI, UI layer on top of everything that I just mentioned to make it a little more user friendly. And uh, in this video, we're going to go through how to install LSP Saga using Lazy, the Lazy Plugin Manager. We're also going to go over how to configure LSP Saga and then some usage commands that I find I have been finding very helpful. With that said, let's go ahead and dig in. Okay, so here we are in the init.lua file, and I'm going to kind of do this from scratch this time around. Normally, I already have everything prepped and all of the code already inserted, but not today. Today, I'm just going to kind of do this live per se. <laughs> all right, so let's go ahead and install LSP Saga. Again, like I mentioned earlier, we're using the lazy plugin manager to install it. And you can see here that I have specified that lazy will use the plugins lazy file in order to load those plugins or recognize which plugins to install. So let's go ahead and open up Plugins Lazy. I'm going to open up Telescope, type Plugins, and you can see here Plugins Lazy has appeared on my list. Hit Enter to go to that file. There's a lot of things here, so I want to go all the way to the bottom to add LSP Saga. Shift G to do that. And I'll add it right here. All I have to do is take the repo and the uh, name here from GitHub and paste it on over here. And that should be enough to tell Lazy to install this plugin. That's all there is to it. Now let's move on to configuration. Delete this empty line here, save my file. I keep all of my plugin configurations in a file called plugin configs. So I'll use telescope to navigate to that file there and shift G to go all the way down. And now from here, I'm gonna do require LSP suck. Actually, I think I have all of this in my clipboard. So let's get that here from the clipboard. Yep, I have it right there. There it is. Okay, cool. So re require LSP saga setup we're going to do light bulb enable false. So light bulb is this feature that LSP ha Saga has that kind of uh, shows this light bulb icon on any lines that have code actions available to them. I don't really like that feature, so I'm going to disable it. Everything else is pretty standard, and I think it's the default for LSP Saga. So you can just see here that's mainly just UI things that we're configuring. So nothing, nothing to cover in that respect. We're just going to leave it as it is. All right. So with that, let's go ahead and uh, configure all of our key mappings using which key. I configure all of my key mappings in a file called key mappings. So go to key mappings, shift G to go all the way down so I can add this one here. And this is where we're going to configure all of our key mappings. Okay, so I have all of my key mappings already on my clipboard. So I'm just going to do a control V or command V. And then it's going to paste what I've had in my clipboard uh, over to here. Okay, cool. So what what is this doing? This is using which key to register some new hotkeys so that when I press my leader key, we will see the hotkeys available to us here in this little pop up window down at the bottom. All right, so we're going to name it LSP Saga kind of looks like lasagna. And we're going to have a, a kind of a start key of L for LSP. I like that one. So when we press leader L, it's going to show these options here. C is for code action. O is for outline. R is for rename. D is for go to definition. F is for finder. This is a really cool one. I like LSP finder. P is for preview definition. And S is for signature help. W is for show workspace diagnostics. Cool, and we'll go through some of these to see how they work. 
All right, that's all there is to it. I'll go ahead and quit NeoVim. Oh, forgot to save my plugins configs there. I'll go ahead and quit that as well. Reopen init.lua and you can see here that Lazy has installed LSP Saga. Pretty neat. All right, so now that we've installed LSP Saga, let's install, let's check out some of its features. But before I can do that, I actually need an LSP server running. So right now, if I do an LSP info, you can see that I don't have any configured servers and uh, I don't, there none of them are attached to this buffer. So I'm gonna open up the handy dandy Mason plugin, which we covered in a previous video. Hit two to go to LSPs here. And let's look for the Lua language server. Ah, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna hit I to install that. And you can see here that noise has displayed a little message here. Lua language server was successfully installed. Oh, that's helpful. I can also go to to the top of this window buffer here to see that, hey, it's been successfully installed. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's quit that. Oops, quit that and restart NeoVim again. Okay, so it's restarted NeoVim and you can see here that some, some diagnostics have appeared over on the side. So that's great. Not only that, but you'll also notice that this win bar or this kind of tab looking thing has appeared as well. This is what LSP Saga calls breadcrumbs. It talks about it a little bit here in their documentation. If you go over to the side and go to breadcrumbs, it's uh, considered to be one of their modules. Um, it's, uh, it tells you where exactly in the file you are what block you're in, what function you're in, what uh, object you're in. So it can be kind of helpful just to know where your cursor is. So that's enabled by default. So you can see here my cursor is below the system call and it's also in an if conditional and it's in the file init.lua. So you can see up here in the win bar that we're in the system call, we're in the if conditional and in the file in the .lua. It also gives you the directory of that file. So that's pretty helpful. I think that's helpful. Cool. Well, what are some other things that LSP Saga can do? Well, you can do the standard things like go to definition. Let me show you what that looks like. So we'll write a function that prints hello and times because why not? We'll use our GP implement function or plugin to do that. That's using ChatGPT to write the function for us. And then we'll invoke it down here below. Print hello 10 times. To go to definition, it's very simple. Uh, we're gonna use our hotkeys this time. We'll do leader. And then we did L for LSP Saga. And then D for go to definition. So there you go here. You can see the little, it had a little animation to it as well. It kind of faded in and faded out. Let me show you that again. So leader L D. There it is. So kind of cool. All right, so let's look at some other features. One of them being LSP Saga Outline. So LSP Saga Outline. Let's see what that does. Oh, it brings up this nice little window down here or uh, off to the side, and it gives us uh, an outline view of our code. So here we have a conditional if, where we've called uh, the system command, and then we have an object with six properties. Here we have print hello 10 times with a for loop, and here's the i variable. So that's pretty cool. It gives it a neat little feature here, and you could also use your uh, code folding hotkeys as well. So you can do ZA to kind of fold that if, or uh, ZM to fold them all, ZN as in Nancy to um, uh, unfold them all. And it also gives you a nice little preview window off to the side here. So that's a quick way to navigate your code if you have a big file and you're, you don't know exactly where you are. Awesome. All right, so let's quit that buffer. One last thing I wanted to show you was LSP, LSP Saga Show Buff Diagnostics. So this shows you all of the diagnostics, the LSP diagnostics in your buffer. So you can see here I have the global variable in lowercase initial, did you miss local or misspell it? And uh, you can also see here that it can't recognize my 
Vim calls here because this workspace doesn't isn't aware of the NeoVim development environment. Maybe in a future video we can download the NeoVim development plugin, which uh, kind of sets up this workspace for us and makes all of these diagnostics and documentation appear for us. Um, and also it works better with the LSP server. Uh, so that would be a neat future video idea. But for now, I think that's going to cover it. That is LSP Saga. Uh, make sure to check it out. Again, uh, they have a ton of modules here that you can play around with. They have a code action module. They have a finder module, which is really cool. They even have a terminal built in. Um, and then you can also customize their UI however you would like. So make sure to check them out. Thank you folks for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.